Hey there. Welcome to Backpacking with Buckley. Today, I am at Bear Den Camp and, Cab Camp and Cabins in Hermosa, South Dakota, which is in the western side of the state, famous for Mount Rushmore and some of the most pristine wilderness you could ever imagine. Uh, we've been invited here by the owners of this beautiful little campground, uh, Tim and Tammy. I'll introduce them to you later. I promise you they're some of the coolest people and kindest people we've ever met. Uh, in exchange for this luxurious canvas glamping tent, uh, we are doing some weed eating and mowing and whatever we can to earn our keep. But they have invited us, invited us to stay for a few days. Uh, in our 30-day challenge, night 18 was last night. Tonight will be 19. And if they're gracious enough to allow us to stay one more, we might even do night 20. But as you can see, we're not cheating. This is a tent. But how awesome is this? So this entire video is going to be about this Bear Den Cabins and Camp. And we're going to show you around the place and hopefully inspire all of you to get out to Western South Dakota and see what this place has to offer. show you where we're staying tonight. This is a, I believe probably a semi-permanent canvas tent and they're absolutely beautiful. Uh, as shown on the entrance of the tent, they're made in Montana by a company called uh, Montana Canvas. And I'm gonna show you inside, the luxurious tent life. kick off my shoes. Come on in. So this is indeed a tent. Can you believe it? Carpeted, full queen size bed, lounging area, lanterns, fans, all the amenities you could ever imagine in a luxury hotel room with the added luxury of being able to kind of sleep outdoors. And we are super pumped to be invited to stay here. So we'll teach you more details and show you around the property real soon. Continuing the tour to one of the cooler areas here. Tim and Tammy have literally done, by the way, all of the work out here themselves, including the tents, the cabin, uh, and this awesome bathroom facility I'm about to show you. You might notice my trim beard. Uh, I cleaned up well, Tim and Tammy, just so you know, extremely well, but uh, trimmed up and got a shower yesterday. Today we've been kind of earning our keep, so I plan on heading back in here tonight for a hot shower as well. Let me get a tour of the bathroom facilities. This is uh, appropriately the men's side for me. Again, all of this was done by them, and it's awesome. Over here, mirrors, vanity outlets, things like that. We're kind of bumming everything because we're the only guests currently. Um, so a lot of that's our junk. It's a lot cleaner without us here. The traditional urinal, two stalls for uh, doing you know what, private time. And then perhaps the coolest part is there's two of these shower stalls with ample room to change and not get all your clothing wet, places to hang your towels, etc. But uh, you can't beat a hot shower. And these are uh, available for all guests to use. And I would assume even when this place is a full house, it's more than enough. I think these are cooler than even what like a state park would offer or anything. So that's the bathrooms. I'll show you some more later.
All right, continuing the tour. I'm gonna show you the uh, little cabin they have built. They are also building another one, and I think have hopes to build more in the future. But this place is super neat. Um, just a little 10 by 12 cabin, but has more than everything you need. Tim has also devised this little device that I can't now figure out. Sarah, help. Yeah, now flip. There you go. A latch. So in here is a really cool ceiling fan. A loft up there. Bed. And uh, just a bunk here. So nothing fancy, but really well done and designed. A little area to sit. And they'll probably have some chairs over in there. But plenty of room to hang out. And this uh, does have electricity. But the whole point of this camp is to have the perfect blend of rustic and modern. So in the tents you won't have electricity, but they do provide like massive battery banks to charge your phones and things like that. So again, really cool little cabin. Nice little fire pit area over here, which is, I think, kind of dedicated to that cabin. But uh, we'll ask Tim and Tammy if it's like a communal thing. Um, but part of the awesome, I guess, appeal to places like this is you probably want to meet some new people. Because I'm sure there's a lot of like-minded folks that would stay at a place like this. Um, and then there's trails cut through all here. Sarah and I did a little weed eating today. Um, but really cool little area back here with trails that kind of lead to all the different tents and just around here to wander. So up here, as you can see, the three tents and uh, they have bean bags and a grill and another little uh, like picnic area, whatever you want to call it, place to dine. Sarah and I made some uh, chicken drummies today and baked beans, corn on the cob. Pretty neat. <laughs> well, you can be, no, you've seen mostly. my channel, you can be completely oh, candid. The day has come, the bittersweet day in which we have to leave Bear Den cabins and camp. But finally, we got Tim and Tammy to appear on camera here today uh, in the interest of uh, showing off how awesome people they are and uh, why you should come to Bear Den cabins and camp. So I'll let Tammy or Tim take the question. What was the inspiration behind the place? I don't know. We just, we love backpacking. We love the people we meet on the backpacking trail, which is where we met Tim. Um, and we just want to share what we have with good people who do good things. And this is your hopeful retirement plan, right, mm -hmm. Tim? Hopefully that's what we're planning on. And if it all comes together, we'll be here 24 seven when your people are here meet all the everybody that comes through yeah they are terrifically kind and generous people and i can't say enough about how beautiful their property is and how jealous i am of this lifestyle that they're going to lead but it's probably important that we uh since we're trying to bring you all in here that we talk a little bit about uh prices and i want to start by saying one thing before i let them take the reins if you're planning on tenting or hammocking uh the price range on this is going to be a lot less than you would find at a state park and I would argue 100% that the amenities here, like showers and uh, fire pits, community areas, all far surpass what I would see at the state parks uh, for a lot cheaper price. I promise you that. But uh, Tammy, what are kind of your ideas for prices on the, on the tents and the cabins? The tents are $75 a night, um, and they don't have any electricity or anything. It's just a queen size bed for two people. If you need extra people, we have little tents we can set out, um, air mattresses if you choose, but $75 a night for tents, $65 a night for the cabins, which do have electricity. Um, no, bedding. no bedding. Bring your sleeping bags if you want to stay in a, in a cabin. I can provide, but it's you know a little bit more for me to do the laundry and, and put the linens and stuff on. Yeah, that's the hard work. Yeah, pitch your tent or your hammock. For twenty dollars a night, anywhere you want, you can still use all of the um, shower house and grills. And there's a grill on both sides of the property where the cabins are and where the tents are. Community fire pit that we're gonna, which is beautiful. 
with bean bags or cornhole, yep. as corn they call it. Beans, yep. <laughs> yeah. And then all the sites have their own little gas private stoves so that I don't have to worry about fires on the side of the hills or anything. So. Yeah, smart. And we'll show off the little uh, uh, propane uh, fire pits they have, which are just an awesome little addition to the amenities. Um, but what else can we talk about? Where can I find you uh, if I'm looking to find you? First of all, online, right? Which would be just... BearDenCabinsAndCamp.com Okay, BearDenCabinsAndCamp.com. We'll put that below. And then Instagram. Instagram, was, at BearDenCabins. Yep, it was... Yeah, we had to look this up because we're, we're not Instagram people, but... Uh, BearDenCabins, yeah, is on yep. Instagram. Please follow them there, even if you're not able to come out and visit. Uh, we just really want to get the word out that this place is amazing. And then the last thing we should probably talk about is you have some plans for putting this out on a more uh, commercial type website, right? Hip Camp? Hip Camp, yep. And I'm still in the process of setting that up. So hopefully by the end of next week, Hip Camp will be set up and, and you'll be able to find us there. You can um, reserve right online through the website. Okay. And so we'll that's a pretty us. easy process or call us. Yeah. Perfect. So you guys all know how to find people. It's easy to creep places and people and find them <laughs> online. Verdan Cabins and Camp, Tammy and Tim, I have no idea how to express gratitude to you. You're close friends now yeah. uh, in a short period of time, and we just can't thank you enough. Well, they worked their rears off while they were here, so <laughs> <laughs> they might not call us friends when they leave. I think even if we got paid $20 an hour, we still uh, got a, a lot of value out of what we did for <laughs> weed eating and things. But it was just a beautiful experience, and uh, if you're a backpacker, hiker, or just uh, looking for a place to crash before you go to the trailhead, or if you're somebody who's not into roughing it, this is the place to be. I tell you, this is the most comfortable uh, tent you will ever sleep in on a queen size mattress that uh, Sarah behind the camera even wants to figure out where she got these mattresses from. <laughs> uh, but it's been an awesome time and uh, we're gonna say our goodbyes to Tim and Tammy. Thank you again and uh, this place rocks. Thank you.